Guys, oh, and you've, got an, you've got an Aloha shirt on. Check is, you out. How are you? This is vintage. This was my father's from the early 70s. Wow. Yeah. So we had in my family, we married in a Hawaiian family decades ago. So we have a place on the big island. I have relatives on all the islands. So this is just so exciting to That's talk about awesome. this. Jason's on the big island right now. Really? Uh, well, they have a place in Waikoloa near Kona. Beautiful, beautiful. Kona Coast. Awesome. Yes, you're on the Big Island. I can never pronounce it, but do you know the place on the Big Island that has that uh, that 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 sacred park? You know, they had a school there that got washed away. Uh, La Hoi Hoi, yeah, yeah. It's one of my favorite places on earth. It's so spiritual oh, there. I love it. Is, yeah, that has a heavy weight there. It does, but man, every time we go there, I just feel so connected to everything. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. <laughs> Well, thank you both for joining me today. Uh, a brand new Dookie Hauser that's the, in Hawaii. I absolutely love this show. Uh, and Kathleen, tell me about the struggle between being a mother to Doogie and a boss to Layla. Yeah, it's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. I, yeah, that's the thing that I think was the most interesting uh, thing about uh, this character is that she's, there's definitely constant struggle and juggling of like, Am I her boss now or her mom now? And which which hat comes on at which moment and which, uh, you know, how do I teach her? What is this, you know, what is the teaching moment and how do I teach her as a mom or a boss? So, yeah, it's um, I think the writers were really, really smart in figuring out a way to um, to, um, you know, uh, manipulate this relationship so that we're constantly in each other's hair, but also really supporting each other through everything we both have to go through. So, um, so yeah, it, it, it was, it definitely kept me on my toes. Uh, I don't have kids, so I can't imagine having a teenage <laughs> daughter, but then also one that's a doctor, prodigy genius. I know. Sign, don't sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> and Jason, I love Benny. He embodies the Aloha spirit. He's uh, the love of his character. And a shave ice and flowers is his dream business. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think there's a there's an ounce of wisdom in that. I mean, there, there's a very kind of laid back, uh, chilled out, you know, purposeful um, effort. And uh, I think that it's kind of a cool thing, you know, to be that and 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 not have to be the breadwinner in, in the sense, you know, it just kind of comfortable with, with who he is and, and where he's at. And you know, that kind I... of truck would make so much money. <laughs> I mean, everybody's going to buy a lay and a shave ice. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and you know, what's funny, Jason, is that I remember having dinner one time on the big Island at a Bubba gum shrimp. And while, while oh. my family and I were sitting on the porch there, just this young Hawaiian kid came out of nowhere with a net, went right into the ocean and came out with all this catch. And it reminds me, you know, Benny, he's catching <laughs> octopus, right? And he's got a special <laughs> washing machine just to clean octopus. I mean, only in Hawaii, right? Yeah, that, that, that's as local as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> and Kathleen, tell me about shooting in Hawaii and, and starring with Peyton. Oh, well, shooting in Hawaii was a dream because um, I'm a big hiker. So there's tons of amazing, really scary and awesome hikes <laughs> around volcano ridges and also like to waterfalls that are just the most beautiful waterfalls in the world. And also all the, the stuff that you can do in the water, the snorkeling and the scuba diving and all that kind of stuff. It's just it's an activity uh, lover's paradise. So that was awesome. And then to work with Peyton, who, you know, like when you think of the original Doogie Howser, they got Neil Patrick Harris and you think, OK, that's the only kid in the world who could be able to pull this off. And I was I was like, OK, this is this is going to hang, you know, a lot on this kid, whoever they get to play uh, Lahela Kamealoha MD. And um, on, you know, during our first table read, uh, was on Zoom, <laughs> and she opened her mouth and said her first word, which was a big chunk of dialogue about being a doctor and doctor jargon and all that stuff. And I was like, "Hey, you, <laughs> like, she can do it. She's the one kid who can do it. She was fantastic." And I, you know, through the entire um, uh, shoot, I was just constantly impressed with what she could do. Uh, not only you know, the memorization and the lines and the technical jargon, but also the emotional tap that she has uh, for, you know, 
every single thing that she had to play. She was great. And uh, I really, really enjoyed working with her. Wonderful series. Thank you both for talking to me today. They're wrapping me up here. It was such a pleasure. Jason, I'm coming to visit you, man. We're going to hang out, okay? Right on, Jacob, brother. All right, you guys come to Vegas. <laughs> and come to Vegas, too, the Ninth Island, hey. right? So come visit us. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spend my money. <laughs> <laughs>